party people! I have a huge Target haul for you today. It didn't start out that way. To be honest with you, I went to three different stores and then it just compiled. You know what I mean? It multiplied. I just can't help myself. They had their Target spot fully stocked with all the new items. So like 98% of these things are from the Target dollar spot, I think. I don't even really remember. It's been like a week. So let's shop all over again and get excited together. First up, well I should probably take everything out of the bags. Okay, here we go, everything out. It's become routine. Okay, okay. Oh boy, ooh, a receipt. Don't look. Shield thine eyes. Oh, that sounded dangerous. Okay, ooh, I forgot I got that. Excited about that. Could have been using it for the past week. Oh, I got two of these. Did I mean to do that? I don't remember. Okay, everything's pretty much out except I'm missing one thing. This hat. Wentworth has been playing with it. I bought the one that says, Beach Please, because it's awesome. Um, they also had a black and white one that I really liked. To be honest, I have like five beach hats, but five dollars? Are you kidding me? I couldn't say no. Beach hats get ruined and they get like, uh, and then my girls wanna wear them. Anyway, I got this hat before I bought that one. I bought this one before I tried it on, AKA before I got lice. And it's just, I don't, it's what, I mean, you can t see the difference, okay? So let's make a return pile right there. Okay. Well, here's a non-dollar spot item. I got belts for my daughter. She always wants to be super fashionable. I don't even know if that's a word, but these were five bucks, normally 10 for three belts. Come on, couldn't say no. I mean, I could, but there's no fun in saying no. No fun. Now that this stuff is out of the bag, I'm like, this isn't that much. My receipts would beg to differ. So would my husband. <laughs> Uh, so would KonMari. Okay, I don't know what to show you first. I'm excited about a lot of stuff. I'm not so excited about this though. Well, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of. Okay, it says so fresh and so clean, clean. And it's cute, right? And then I saw that Target is offering like four other laundry signs that weren't at my Target or really any of the other Targets that I went to. So I'm kind of having FOMO about the other signs. And in my head, I'm like, this is the least cute one out of the bunch, but am I just thinking that because that's the one that I have and I just have FOMO about the others? I don't know, I don't know. I also got a dustpan. I know it's super exciting. In my shop with me, I was talking how like, how am I gonna connect this to my broom? Well, it has a little hole in here, so I figure I could just zip, make a zip tie loop and then just hang it over. I don't, we'll figure it out. I really need a new dustpan. I also got one of these silicone sponges. That's not showing you anything. This thing was three bucks. I forgot it was three dollars. Oh, I am missing a bag. Let me go get that. I have heard really, ooh, this is different than what I thought. So it's got like that texture on it. One of you gave me a really good review on this. You said you had it for years. And like these sponges, which I also bought because hello, I justify my purchases through cleaning. Okay, I need to clean, I need new sponges. Even though I have like 10 sponges under my kitchen sink that are waiting to be used. You can never have enough. So I bought this silicone sponge as well and I'm really excited to use it. She said it's good on dishes. Let me get the other bag. Oh wait, there's two. Okay, this bag has the finishing spray that I bought like two weeks ago in it. I don't know why I left it in there. Let's try it out oh, together. What am I doing? Beauty guru, what? How much do I use? Oh wait, I'm not supposed to crinkle. Whoops, <laughs> it's impossible not to move my face. Oh my gosh, now I just feel like I just took a shower. Do I look dewy and hydrated? No, all that stuff is a farce anyway. It's just a marketing scheme to make more money. They got me. I got one of these. <laughs> I have like three of these, but two of them are broken and this is my third. <laughs> I think I threw one away as well. I can't get enough of these guys. Tink, tink, tink. I put essential oils in them and I spray my couches, I spray my bed, I spray the air. It's wonderful. You're supposed to use it to water plants, but like, nope, not in my house. My plants just die here. I also got this for Alex. I'm just picking randomly. I'll show you this and then I'll show you the cool things, okay? I'll organize. Um, this was on clearance. You know I can't pass up the clearance section at Target and there's like 
they're all over Target, you know what I mean? Okay, so this was $5, originally 10. What, $10 for a razor and three cartridges? I couldn't say no. All right, let me separate, separate, separate. That was really good, I should make that a song. Ooh, I got this planter. Look how stinking cute it is. It kind of matches the planter that I have right now. Um, there's no nothing in it. I guess I didn't think about that. Um, maybe I could put this in it. Does that look good? Yeah, lie to me, okay? Uh, I figured I could just throw this on top of my desk. I really need to organize my desk. I think that's gonna be a video next week. We're just gonna organize my desk together. Uh, so I got this succulent as well. I also got this succulent and this succulent. Oh, and this succulent. Look how cool that is. Why did I buy this many? <laughs> oh yeah. And then I got this succulent. How much was this? This was $3. But it is really cute and I figure I could keep it in my bathroom or on my desk. I don't know. We'll find a spot for it. And then I bought this one. This little hanging planter was empty. I think that's why I bought these. Look how cool that looks. Looks so real from really far away. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put that. Maybe in my kitchen. And then, oh, look how cute. Wait, this one hangs lower. Look at the difference here. This was $5, but it came with a succulent. This one was, I don't even know. I don't ask questions when I'm at Target. Okay, this one was three and the succulent was three. So to combine this was six and combine this was five. And then all of these gems were a dollar. Oh, lied. This was $3, these were a dollar each. Party on the couch. Okay, they joined the party. You know what else joined the party? These baskets. Look how cute they are. Um, they are woven baskets. I think I bought baskets last time I went to the Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> I just can't help myself. I don't remember what I did with them. I put them to use. Oh no, wait, maybe I, I thrifted baskets. I think that's what I did. But they didn't fit where I needed baskets. I hope these fit. They do! Success! So these finally fit where I want them. I don't know if they look good, but that's okay. I also, oh wait, what? Did I get another one of these? Oh, that's disappointing. I thought I got a different print. So there's birds on this one. I thought I got the other one. I also have a flamingo one, which I haven't, I bought it last year. I'll probably buy more of these. These are $3 for a water bottle, but they don't keep your water cold for very long. So just a heads up, they're not insulated. Okay, okay, ooh, another water bottle. God, I'm obsessed with water bottles. I have a lot of them. They're useful. I don't collect mugs, but I do collect water bottles. So there's that. This one is glass, it was $5. It's got that silicone ring around it. Not ring, but silicone sleeve. I don't know the proper term. One thing I do like is when water bottles have straws. But this one, since it's glass, it just doesn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring that to yoga. I'll feel like a true yogi holding on to that guy. Oh, another receipt. Bye. Oh wait, is that the same one that I threw behind me? Probably. Oh, these are different. Hmm, I got a couple of umbrellas. Uh, this one says, here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun and I say, it's all right, but do 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 Here comes the sun and I say. What are the rest of the words to that song? It's bad luck to open an umbrella indoors. It's bad luck to be superstitious. Or is the saying it's bad luck not to be superstitious? I can't remember. Either way, I'm pretty sure I've got bad luck. But I wanted to show you the print up close and personal. Cute, right? Also got this print. This is the print I thought I picked up in the water bottle. So there it is with all the colors and stuff. So pretty. Um, I'm probably going to give that one to my daughter. I'm missing another bag. <sighs> Let me go try to find it. I can't find it, it's probably in the car, but I did get umbrellas for Eleanor and Wentworth. I got Wentworth a Toy Story umbrella, so adorable, and then went Eleanor, I can't remember. It's probably like a princess one or something, I don't know, I don't know. Moving on, moving on. I got this infinity scarf. Okay, hold on, because let me see what this thing is all about. Oh, okay, so I've never owned an infinity scarf before. Oh God. Clearly this is why. <laughs> I thought I could use this as like a beach cover up. I Maybe, I don't think I can. I, this, it just wasn't, maybe I can like cut a hole in it for my arms. This is not a garbage bag, Kim. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking this. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, it's cute if you're looking for a scarf, which I am not, like, oh God. <laughs> I am a sweaty girl. And the very last thing I need is to hold in more heat. 
Oh, what am I gonna do with that? I don't know. Whew. Glad that's over. I also got some microfiber cloths. They were $3 for both of them, and they don't, oh no, these are dish cloths. I was just gonna say, I am definitely missing a bag because I did buy microfiber cloths. Where is it? Hmm, maybe I didn't buy it. These are dish towels, dish cloths. I don't, do I need dish cloths? Nope, Target made me do it. Oh, the things we regret when we come home from Target. <laughs> I mean, I will use them. I also got these sunglasses. I, ooh, so fancy. They put wrapper on the uh, earpiece. I think that's what it's called. I got these for my kids, but good Lord, I might take them. Look how cute these are. Where's my beach hat? Where's my scarf? I will look like a true tourist. Oh, where's my umbrella? <laughs> Here comes the sun. Don't want to get sunburned. <laughs> now this is a look, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassing. Uh, for real though, these sunglasses, they are pretty cool. How much were they? Oh, they were $3. That's pretty cool. I got two pairs, one, one for each of my daughters. Oh my gosh, another great find. Were these glass bottles? What are they called, squirt bottles? Oh my, okay, if you clean using essential oils, you know that glass bottles are paramount. You need to use them because um, the essential oils eat away at plastic. So, these glass bottles are fantastic for that. And I don't know if you can tell, but these have a cute little like lemon print on them. The light is really reflecting off of that bottle right now. Anyway, so I got two of them. They were $3 each. Have I said that? I am pumped about these. I'm pumped about using them. I do have a couple glass uh, spray bottles from Grove Collaborative, which are fantastic. And they have silicone around them. That's the one thing I'm worried about these with, uh, cause they don't have anything to protect them. Especially like I let Wentworth clean. I usually just, I mean, it's essential oil, what is he gonna do? But I let him clean with it and he just sprays it everywhere and wipes it down, but I'm worried he's gonna slam that. Anyway, I got those, I'm super pumped. You know what else I got for Wentworth? Well, let me first show you what I got for myself. <laughs> A beach towel, but I got this and it is so adorable. The print is just so pretty. I have to crack into this guy. I got so many towels from the dollar spot last year. It was $5 for a beach towel. Like, no, it's not luxurious. It's not like a resort towel or anything like that. But look at that. That's perfect. I'm ready for the beach. I'm so basic. Vacay all day. I mean, to be quite honest with you, every day in Florida is a beach day. We don't go to the beach very often. I wish we lived a bit closer to it. Speaking of the beach, I also got this cute little beach umbrella. Look how stinking adorable this is. I don't exactly know what it's for. This it was a dollar though, and I wasn't about to leave it at the store. I said, you have to come home with me. I don't know if I, I can put it in like a plant or something. Oh, is that what it's for? So like put, just like decorate floral arrangement? I don't know. I was thinking I could put it on my tiered tray or really anywhere in my house. Oh my gosh, can I put my hair up in a bun and put this in it? Whoops, probably gonna break. Instead of a flower, you know what I mean? No, this is not gonna work. Oh, oh, not a cute look, not a cute look. Okay, enough with all that garbage. I also got two of these. It says, just go outside and play nature activities. And it comes with a cute little pen right there. They were $3 each. Uh, there's 20 activity pages, one sticker sheet, and one stackable crayon. Oh, okay, so it's not a pen, it's a crayon. I just thought these would be really fun. And sometimes my daughters come home and they're like, I'm bored, and I'm like, really? This is the 21st century, how could you be bored? Speaking of the 21st century, have you guys ever watched Xenon, Girl of the 21st Century? Such a classic movie, oh my gosh. Disney movies are like, you know what I mean? Old school Disney movies when they used to have one once a month. What's not, oh, Wish Upon a Star? Oh my, I watch it at least once a year. What's, what's that one with Justin Timberlake? Model behavior, yes! It's on YouTube. Last time I watched it, the whole movie was on YouTube in like five different clips. It, oh my gosh. Just brings me back. Disney doesn't make movies like that anymore, do they? Well, I guess like High School Musical, but that turned into like a phenomenon. Anyway, I got a um, tooth pillow. <laughs> that was a good segue there, but I thought this is so cute to pass up. It was $3. And um, it comes with markers so you can decorate it, but I don't think, I think I'm just gonna leave it canvas style because I'm gonna use it for all of my kids. Is that sanitary? I don't know. But like, does it really matter? They're not like eating the teeth. That's really weird. What do you guys do with the teeth you give to the tooth fairy? I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Because sometimes the tooth fairy like brings them back to me and I'm like, oh, thanks. What am I gonna do with this? I don't know. Anyway, I thought this was pretty cool. You know what else I thought was pretty cool? Really all of this stuff, but what am I gonna show you next? Oh, 
this rhythm stick. Oh yes. And you know what I'm kind of uh, kicking myself for not getting is that, uh, what is it called? The Bluetooth speaker for 10 bucks. But I think we have one, which is why I didn't buy that. Rhythm stick. This is like great. If you want to play music, but you're not musically inclined, and someone has already taken role of the tambourine, this is for you. I also, okay, two, ooh, woo, 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 woo. almost forgot about these. I'm super pumped I found this. I don't even know how I found it. It was like, it was meant to be. So a few weeks ago in my Target haul, I shared that I got a diffuser, an essential oil diffuser from the Target dollar spot. It was mini, it was really small, but it was like eight bucks, so what can you expect, right? Um, I tried it in Wentworth's room, literally the smallest room in our house. His room is the size of a closet. It's very small. Um, and it did nothing in there. So I thought, oh, and I returned it because I'm not keeping crap that doesn't work. Sorry, Target. So I bought this. It is called Spa Room. Oh wait, is it? Okay, essential oil diffuser. It's normally 30 bucks, but I got it for 15. I am so excited to use this. And you know what? I might put this on my desk and move the ugly one to his room. <laughs> am I allowed to do that? Yes, because I'm the mom. I make decisions. A water pick. I'm not even gonna lie. I bought this for Alex for Christmas. Never gave it to him. I left it in his trunk. That's my life. And he like doesn't want it. And so I thought about returning it because we found it a while ago and I thought about returning it and then I thought, well, maybe I want it. Maybe I can give this to myself for Christmas. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I still haven't used it. What do you guys think about it? Do you have a water pick? Share your experiences below. Let me know if you love it, hate it, whatever. Um, since I got it on a Black Friday deal, it was like $10 off. I want to say I spent like $30 or $40 on this, which I feel like is a good deal for a water pick. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I need to have better dental hygiene. My dad always told me, only floss the teeth you wanna keep. And I feel like this will help me keep some more teeth. <laughs> oh, life is so weird. Learn to draw animals. I don't think I shared this one in my shop with me, uh, just because my camera was dying and I just couldn't share every little thing anymore. Um, but my daughter absolutely loves to draw and I feel like she would really enjoy this book. My oldest daughter comes with graph paper as well. So I don't, we'll see if she enjoys that. That was $3. I can't wait for Target to stock their like Easter goodies. That will be the next shop with me. I got this watering can. So every day we have a garden, which is the saddest garden you'll ever see, but we are growing strawberries and I haven't planted the seeds I got from Dollar Tree like uh, three months ago, two months ago. Not yet, I will eventually. It's probably too late now, but whatever. Where was I going with that? Oh, Wentworth and I, have watering cans. Oh, you know what? We have watermelon growing. Yes, we do! The plant is growing. We don't have any actual watermelons yet. Fingers crossed, okay, people? But we water them every day because we have to, or he wants to. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not a gardener. I, I just liked how it said, grow laughter. I love that. It's probably not very manly, but I don't care. And then I got this for him, this scavenger hunt bag. I thought this was too cute to pass up. It has little things that you can scavenge. It's perfect. Was this a dollar? Oh, it was three. I don't know if that's worth it. I also got him some gardening gloves, mostly because he's just so cute and he picked them out himself. And I got him this shovel set. Oh my gosh, can I tell you if Wentworth could be outside 24 hours a day, seven days a week, he'd be the happiest kid alive. Sadly, I can't be outside 24 seven, so I bring him inside, um, but we do play outside a lot and he loves the dirt. He's got a little dirt box, whatever that thing is called. So I figured he could play with this in the garden in his dirt box, whatever. He's gonna love it. I also got this for my oldest daughter. <coughs> my throat is so dry. She loves magic, or at least I feel like she does. <laughs> We're gonna find out if she loves magic together. Um, this is a 15 magic tricks in here. And it's a box of magic. I am pumped. I'm pumped for this. I used to I used to have a magic kit, magician kit, a ma magic box. I don't know. Nothing came of it, but I had fun with it. So that's all that matters. I also got this felt board for Eleanor. They recently took a trip to Kennedy Space Center for the, a weekend trip. It was three days, son. Three days. And they met an astronaut. Yeah. Freaking a guy who walked on the moon. They met him. I was so jealous. I was like, was that the coolest 
part of your whole life so far or what? There is a lizard in my house. Don't move. If you don't move, he won't know I'm here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the talking is giving it away though. I'm not 100%. What are you gonna do? You look hungry. You wanna go outside? You wanna play with the watering can? Here, bud. Ah! We'll just let him hang out. Okay, uh, by the way, the astronaut's name is Al, Al Warden. I should know this. Ow. It's gotta be like the coolest thing in the world. Oh my gosh, I think Brian Regan has a skit on it. <laughs> it's like, um, what is it? Like one upping? Okay, 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 hold hold on with me here, okay? Short story long, here we go. His skit starts by talking about um, wisdom teeth and like someone is always going to have a better wisdom tooth story than you. Like, oh, I got two of my wisdom teeth pulled this weekend. Oh, tell me more about your two tooth tail. And then your friend at the dinner table, oh, well I had four of mine taken out and they were all impacted and he goes on and then another guy at the dinner table is an astronaut he's like well, I walked on the moon like no one can top that you know what I mean just like the ultimate to freaking walk on the moon guys I have seen some conspiracy theories though moving on I thought she would really enjoy this she's going through um, a unit with her school learning about the planets and the solar system family of the Sun the family of the Sun there are eight planets yes indeed Pluto isn't one that was improv that last part thank you thank you uh, Pluto is actually a dwarf planet apparently I don't, I don't know what that means but that's what it is thank you Google I also got some toothpaste I actually bought three of these. This is the toothpaste that my kids enjoy, so I aim to please. And then I found these, which I haven't seen before, and I'm super pumped that I found them because they're freaking Toy Story. So it's Woody and Buzz, and I don't know if that was all blurry. I'm so sorry. My eyesight, I'm like basically blind, and my eyes today are just like shutting down. They're like, Kim, just please take your contacts out. We're allergic. Don't you know this by now? Uh, I need to schedule a new eye exam to get new things. Okay, anyway, I got toothbrushes for little Wentworth. I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay, couple more things. I got this Neosporin. So I always have a first aid kit with me, whether it's in my car and I leave it in there when someone actually gets hurt or I have it on me and no one gets hurt. That's how the world works. I like to keep a little Neosporin spray in it and Target used to sell one of these that was like a spray, a Neosporin spray, antiseptic, whatever they call it, I don't even know. And it was cheaper. And every time I buy a Neosporin spray like this, like the Neosporin brand, it always poops out on me. The spray breaks, something happens. So I got another one because Target never has theirs in stock. I also got this, a rainy day boredom busters. Are you guys interested to, it's that easy to open? Of course it's that easy to open, it's a jar. Oh, I should have opened it in the store because I was wondering like, oh, well, what do they say on the inside? Okay, create an indoor obstacle course. Oh, some of them are blank so you can write on them. That's a great idea. Play I see with my little eyes. What? Were they not allowed to write I spy with my little eye? That's really funny. Create a shadow puppet on the wall with your hands. Have a storytelling show with your family. Play a game of red light, green light. These are fantastic. Have a dance party every day here, okay? Sing some karaoke every day. Have a fun pillow fight, no thank you. Build a pillow and blanket fort, no thank you. Watch your favorite movie, okay. I'll probably fall asleep if we turn a movie on. Okay, Listen. I have cinnamon narcolepsy. It's a thing, not really. It's a thing for me. Okay, that, so that looks really fun. And then I got some socks for Eleanor. She is forever running out of socks. And I just thought these were cute. And they were how much? Five dollars? Three bucks for like six pairs of socks. I can't beat that price. And I broke my rule about not buying printed socks anymore. I just can't help it. They're cute. Okay, I can't help it. Oh, 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 What was that? One more thing. I got this for Alex. It was Valentine's Day clearance. Oh, and I bought a bag of chocolate. I just wanted chocolate, really. There's no justification. It was on sale after Valentine's Day and I thought, no one bought me chocolates for Valentine's Day. Don't wanna talk about it. I bought them myself and I basically ate the whole bag by myself. No regrets, maybe a little bit of regret. My stomach was not having it, but you know what? Life goes on! I got this for Alex, maybe for Christmas or something. I don't know. It says Happy Valentine's Day on it, so a black Sharpie can fix that in a jiffer. So this is, what kind of sauce? I have garlic, jalapeno, habanero, cayenne, habanero, and then cayenne. Guys, I don't, oh, maybe I'll give this to my dad for Christmas. He likes hot sauce. All right, that is everything in my Target haul. Holy crap, how long is this video? 
I'm sure it's long, but I just can't help it. I love hanging out with you. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me too. If you did, make sure to subscribe to put a little bit more ha happy in your day. I said that wrong. Put a little more happy in your day. It's really just supposed to be put a little happy in your day. That's what I used to say for years and years. And now it comes out more because I hope that you already have happy in your day and I'm just adding to it. Do you feel me? Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll see you next time. Bye.